Hello there. What's up guys and welcome back to another video. Today I will be giving you 5 tips to win more games in Among Us for the imposters and for the crewmates. And before we get started, you should probably hit that subscribe button. Anyway, let's get started. This first tip might be the most underrated tip ever. I've never seen anyone say this, anyone do this, but trust me, it works. And this tip is when the lights go out, get on cameras. Many people think that cameras are dark too when the lights get turned off, but no, they are working just fine. I've caught so many people using this strategy, so as soon as the lights go off, get on cameras and you will see the imposters kill, and once you do, just call a meeting and then boat them off. Now this tip works very well for the crewmates, but it can also help you as the imposter. So whenever you are the imposter, make sure never to kill on cameras no matter what. When you do turn off the cameras as the imposter, make sure you're killing not in the camera's views. I've been caught as the imposter killing on cameras during the dark once or twice before and it really sucked. So now I don't do it at all on the cameras even when it is dark and I've been winning more as the imposter. So no matter what, do not kill on the cameras when it's dark. Also, these tips are going to be very useful because only a few hundred people will watch this video, so not many people will know about these. My second tip, and this one's only for the crewmates, is to save your visual tasks for the very end or the very beginning. So the reason why you would want to save them for the end is let's say you were being accused, you could tell them before you get voted off, oh, well I have a med scan to do, and then they'll all come and watch you, and then you'll prove to them that you're not the imposter. Now you could also save them or do them at the beginning and the reason why you'd want to do them at the beginning is because a lot of people do their scans or their asteroids or whatever it is at the very beginning. On two of the maps the med scan is pretty close to where the emergency meetings are so a lot of people will go to med bay and do their scan there. So if you see people doing a med bay scan go over there with them, do it with them and then you'll prove to them that you're not the imposter. Now if you just don't want to save them for the end and you want to get all your tasks done or you don't want to do them at the beginning just make sure to do them in front of someone and I would say in front of two people because someone could get killed or vote it off or it, they could be the imposter. Tip number three is a good one for the crewmates but an even better one for the imposters and that is to stay on cams. And I'm not saying stay on cameras for the entire game, but I'm saying stay on cameras for most of the game. Obviously, when you're the imposter, you don't have tasks to do, and I feel like a lot of people get caught faking tasks. So why not just not do any tasks and stay on camera? So if someone's like, hey, where were you? What were you doing? You can be like, oh, I was on cameras, and then someone will probably see you being on cameras. This is a great way to keep the imposters busy and safe and not being accused of not doing any tasks and it's also good for the crewmates if you just don't want to do any of the tasks. But there are also benefits to being on cameras obviously so as a crewmate you will be able to catch imposters killing on cameras. And if you're not seeing someone get killed on cameras well let's say you see two people go into admin and only one come out and then someone finds a dead body in admin you'll know who it is. For the imposters, it's very good because you can just quickly vent out of the security room and I think two of the maps have a security room. I'm not sure if the, a third one does, but you can vent out of the security room, kill, vent back, and then you'll still be on cameras and when people find the body, you'll be nowhere near the body. This is such a useful strategy. I use this strategy almost every time I'm the imposter, and trust me, it works. I survive till the last round every single time, and usually I just get accused of something I didn't even do and get voted off, but that doesn't matter. This strategy works. Now, the strategy can be pretty boring for a crewmate, so I would understand why maybe some of you guys don't want to do it as a crewmate, but it does work as a crewmate, just it's pretty boring. Tip number four is to not be aggressive as the imposter. And that might sound obvious, but let me explain. If you're the imposter, I'd say kill someone in the first round, and then after the first round, find some people and stay with them for the entire second round. Don't kill, don't do anything, don't even sabotage, and they will defend you because you are with them the entire time. The only risk to this is you're probably going to have to fake a few tasks, but if you're playing with a bunch of random people, that's not very hard to do. 
So what this does is, let's say you're being accused of something in the first round, but you don't get voted off. If you stay with people the entire second round and someone dies, which means the other imposter that you're with killed, that means they won't think it's you and the people that you are with will defend you. You don't have to do this in the second round. You could do this in the first round or the second round or however many rounds are. Just don't do it in the last round because it doesn't make sense. This strategy is very good, but it doesn't work all the time because people are stupid and will vote you out for no reason. Tip number five is to defend the crewmates as the imposter. This one is very good and very underrated, and I've never seen anyone say this, but watch someone do a visual task and then when they are being accused, back them up. And let's say they do get voted off and they see that they're not the imposter, well then they know you were right and they weren't the imposter and they'll be more likely to trust you. And let's say they don't get voted off, then that person will trust you and that person will defend you. No matter what, this is a win-win. Now, in some situations, you do have to just throw random people out of the bus. Let's say you kill someone and someone watches you. Then I would say accuse the other person and not defend them, obviously. That is like the only time you should not defend a crewmate. This is a great strategy to build trust. And if you're playing with random people, the strategy still works, but it doesn't work as good. But if you're playing with your friends and you're in like a, a voice chat, this strategy will work very, very, very well. Out of all the tips that I just gave you, I would say tip number one and tip number five are probably the best tips. Well, that will do it for my five tips. Please tell me in the comments below if any of these tips helped you. I honestly do want to know and I honestly will read your comment. Like the video if you did like it, like the video if it helped you. Subscribe if you want to see more Among Us videos, Minecraft videos, and all sorts of other videos. Thank you guys so much for watching, I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day, and I will see you all later. Bye!